don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on YouTube? This is the Big K Cup 360 here. I haven't seen you guys since, you know, my coverage of the Windows 10 event. But anyway, in the past few days, NVIDIA has been in the news because there's been a lot, repeat a lot, of uh, controversy surrounding the GTX 970 graphics card and how its VRAM is flawed. Now this is pretty much what happened, long story short. I'm gonna make this quick, I'm gonna make this to the point. I'm gonna bring up my arguments for and against and whatnot. So on release, Nvidia came out and said, look, GTX 970, it's based on GM204 architecture, has 64 ROPs and it has two megabytes of L2 cache. I only specifically talked about those two things because there's a bit of an issue here. Now, they came out and said that. However, recently, people started to notice that whenever the GTX 970 started to hit um, that 4 gigabyte VRAM usage, or, you know, past 3.5 gigs to be exact, all of a sudden, performance just dropped. Stuttering started to occur. Uh, the frame times, if you guys know what frame times are, pretty much... Um, Ah, uh, how can I explain it? It's it pretty much just to keep this short. Frame uh, back bad frame times, which are you know volatile, that causes micro stuttering. So pretty much there was bad frame timing, uh, bad frame rating, and that's what that's what will happen if you pass three point five gigabytes of VRAM usage. Now, of course, no one knew what this was for, why this was the case, because Nvidia. Um, advertise the card as a 4 gigabyte card and you know, people are asking why after 3.5 gigs is this happening well pretty much Nvidia came out and said or came out pretty much and said look the card has a 4 gigabyte frame buffer there is 4 gigabytes on the PCB however the GPU is segregated the RAM is segmented into 3.5 and into 512 megabytes effectively making 4 gigabytes so the RAM is segmented into two different sections I guess for the GPU to access so you have one side the 3.5 gigs which is stupidly fast it's, you know hundreds of gigabit of second speed however as soon as you get to that um that 512 megs of ram it's like super slow and it's in no way compared to the you know the other 3.5 gigs of ram now of course people got very pissed off for this and rightfully so because look if i buy a full gigabyte card all four gigs of that should uh, work perfectly. Now, of course, people are going to say, well, Cobbs, shouldn't they have bought an R9 290? People should know that the 290 and the 290X pretty much perform better at 4K. Well, not necessarily. Maybe someone didn't want to buy a 290 or 290X, maybe because of power or heat. Or maybe they just wanted the GTX 970. Maybe in the region it was cheaper. We can't attack the consumer for this, okay? This is flat out Nvidia's fault. Clearly, there was some kind of issue in the marketing team. Because honestly, you can point this or you can say this as uh, pointed out as false advertising because essentially you're not getting a full gig card you're getting 3.5 gigs which is super fast and you're getting 512 megs which is super slow stupid slow and of course if you want to put 3.5 gig and 512 megs together yes it makes 4 gig but it's still segmented it's not like one strip of four it's like someone in, in the line of tactics from made this analogy you get four tires you buy four tires new but one of the tires has like a puncture in it or it's got something wrong with it yeah you still got the four tires but the whole car itself when you need or Oh, how can I put it? Pretty much, I shouldn't even need to explain that analogy. You've got four tires and one's got the puncture in it. That's a problem. It's an issue. Regardless of if you still got the four tires or if you still got the four gigs of RAM, all of that RAM needs to be able to be working like new, like it's fine, like it's super speed, like it's fast. Unless, of course, Nvidia said it shouldn't do that, which they did not say on launch. So pretty much, on top of this, on top of this whole 3.5 and 512 megabyte thing, uh, the 970 has 56 render output units instead of 64 like they originally said and it only has 1.75 megabytes of L2 cache instead of the 2 megabytes which they were originally uh, saying it had so yes pretty much uh, the GTX 970 uh, it, on launch it didn't have what Nvidia said it had it, it wasn't there like everything was not there and of course people are pissed off now I believe someone from Nvidia came out and said that look um, we know this is a big issue, this must have been an issue or confusion with the marketing team when they were handing out review kits. So they've gone and they've, they've corrected the issue on their website saying, you know, the right amount of render output units, right amount of 
uh, L2 cash. But at the end of the day, there's still people that bought uh, 970s. And if they want to ever buy a second 970 or go for that 4K gaming, they most likely can't. Because that second bit of 512 meg RAM is weak. It won't be able to handle it. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it, guys. It was a tricky situation. It was bad to see it happen, but I believe NVIDIA will be accepting refunds if you want a refund for your 970. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.